everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a come cook with me and it's in collaboration with corn and net mums and we're gonna be making a corn chili. This has been one of my favorite dishes since even before we had kids. When we were just busy working, trying to balance our lives, it was a really, really easy, quick tea to make. And now the kids have come along, it's even better because I know it's a quick and easy nutritious meal that I can make for them that I'm guaranteed that they'll actually eat as well. Corn's great, it's not just a vegetarian alternative. Rob and the kids aren't vegetarian, but they still enjoy a lot of the meals we make with corn. And yeah, let's go make some chili. As you can see, we don't need too many ingredients. We've obviously got the corn mince. This is a bag of 500 grams. We're using 300, so I use kind of roughly two thirds of it. Then a can of kidney beans, a can of chopped tomatoes, some olive oil for cooking, then some tomato passata, um, a medium diced onion. I've cheated, I've got a frozen chopped onion here because I hate chopping onions. I'm also cheating again, I've got garlic puree instead of garlic cloves. Some tomato puree, that's a very bashed and well used tube. A vegetable stock cube, then some mushrooms. I'm not sure why we put mushrooms in our chili, but we just love mushrooms in this house, so we always have them. I've got sliced ones to save even more time. A red pepper, which I need to chop up. Some cumin, some paprika, some salt and pepper for taste. I'm gonna be using this garlic and chili mix instead of fresh chilies just because I find every time I put fresh chilies in it's fine for me but the kids and Robert don't really like it. So let's get cooking. First up I'm dicing the red pepper up so that it's in nice big chunks for chucking into the chili. Then I'm heating a saucepan and adding in some olive oil. And first up I'm adding in the diced onion. I'm letting the onion cook for five to six minutes or until it begins to soften. Then I'm gonna add in the red pepper I diced up earlier and all the mushrooms and give them a good stir around so they're all getting a good coating of the oil and starting to cook. Then I'm gonna add in the paprika, the cumin, the garlic puree and the chili mix. Then I'm gonna stir everything around, make sure everything's all coated in the spices and cook for about two more minutes, stirring continuously. Next up, I'm adding in the chopped tomatoes and the passata. and giving it a good stir again. Then I'm adding in the tomato puree to add to the tomato in this. And then I'm taking the vegetable stock cube, crumbling it up in my hands and crumbling it into the mix. Then I'm gonna stir it in. Once the stock cube's in, I'm gonna bring it to a gentle simmer for eight minutes and I'm just gonna stir it occasionally. Next up, the kidney beans are going in. As you can see, it's starting to get a bit more bubbly and the corn mince is going in now. My pan's perhaps a little too small. I probably need to invest in a slightly bigger one. Then I'm giving everything a really good stir and making sure the mince is all covered in the sauce so it cooks properly. But it's just so easy, it cooks so quickly and it's such a nice texture, it really tastes lovely. Now the corn mince is in, I'm gonna cook it over a gentle heat for 10 minutes. I'm popping in ketchup because that's our secret ingredient and then some salt and pepper to taste. Look how yummy that looks. I'm gonna start out our little side bits. So the grated cheese and some ready salted tortilla chips. I'm cheating, I'm using microwave rice just for ease. And yeah, just pouring it out into the bowls. Nice and quick, nice and easy. And now I'm dishing up my chili. It looks so good and I love how it's steaming hot. So it's gonna be nice and fresh and a really comforting and warming meal. Now it's time to start the table. So I'm popping the tortilla chips and the cheese down, the kids drinks, our cutlery. Then the chili's going out. How yummy does that look? It really is one of our favorite family meals. Isla always really enjoys it. She loves being able to put her own cheese on and use her tortilla chips to dip it. Lachlan's such a good eater and this is one of his favorites as well. It's so nice having something that we'll all eat and all enjoy. Such a quick and easy and simple recipe to make for your family. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's inspired you to maybe introduce some corn into your family meals. It's great to mix up and it's great to go meat free, even just one night a week. It's great for the environment. It's nice and healthy, it's nice and tasty, and it makes making family meals super easy and super quick. So yeah, check out the link in my description below if you want any more information about anything. And there'll also be a link to the recipe as well. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon, bye.